Eastern Conference Breakdown Preview Episode, and we started off with the number one seed taking on the number eight seed. That is number one, Alejandro's New Mexico Raptors taking on the number eight seed, Lance's Charlotte Hornets. And as you, as it says it on the screen, 65 and 17 for the Raptors, and 34 and 48 the Hornets under 500, but yet made the playoffs. So. I'm thinking sweep, you know, early prediction, 4-0 Raptors win it easily. Um, Mexico won two out of three games in the series, so they won the series in regular season. The Hornets actually snuck away with one, so we'll see what happens. So now we look at the team comparison, so you can see that apparently the Hornets have no weaknesses, but the Raptors have a weakness in blocks, so... You know, maybe the Hornets will try to get into the lane a lot because it looks like they don't got no interior defense, but we'll see what happens, you know. Do they have any big, uh, big men to really um, shake up the, the front court, though? That's the real question. Right here is the projected lineups. So we got Magic, Michael Jordan, Paul Pierce, Dennis Rodman, Miles Leonard, taking on John Wall, OJ Mayo, Paul George, Karl Malone, Luke Longley. And yeah, obviously we see we know who the stronger lineup is, but we gotta remember, Paul Pierce is starting for the injured Kevin Durant. That's the MVP. That's a big deal, man. That's a real big deal. Stats, rankings, shot charts. So yeah, we're getting really in depth into this. So now we break up this. I think this might be the key matchup. Is like point guard, star point guard versus star point guard. We got Magic taking on John Wall, and it would have been Paul George taking on whoops my bad my bad it would have been Paul George taking on uh if I could find uh, it would have been this would have been the obvious matchup but he's out so yeah and we all know from Michael Jordan it's a wash as Michael Jordan versus OJ Mayo <laughs> that's a wash Michael Jordan's gonna it's barbecue chicken out there for Michael Jordan man barbecue chicken so yeah, the matchup to really watch is the point guard matchup. So, but um, Magic is six nine compared to the six four. Um, John Wall. So, man, anything could happen, man. Anything could happen. But I don't see any surprises in this series. I see a clean sweep for the Raptors. Four zero. That's my prediction. You know, comment yours. That's the first matchup. The number one seed, New Mexico Raptors. Take it on the number eight seed, Charlotte Hornets. And before, I forgot to mention the Hornets have zero injuries, so that's a positive on their side. And as mentioned before, Raptors have been injured, Kevin Durant and Jermaine O'Neal. Moving on to the number two seeded team, taking it on the number seven seeded team. We have number two, 62 and 20, win 20 losses. Number two's Robert taking on number seven princess 39 43 record under 500 Atlanta Hawks taking on Cleveland Cavaliers and we saw what happened in real life yeah that's not gonna happen it's gonna be the opposite way the Hawks gonna probably the Hawks gonna sweep the Cavs and the big three we, and we have these two Asian people taking on each other yes I don't know why I mentioned that I think they're both Filipino too is Robert are you Filipino I can't remember Princess, are you Filipino? I'm pretty sure you are. It could be Thailand. I don't remember. Oh, my bad, bro. This ain't about y'all, though. This is about the playoffs. So now let's break down this matchup. See, now this is interesting. The, the, the Cavaliers have a lot of weaknesses. Attack the basket. They can't do that. And they can't shoot threes. So what are they doing? They, they can barely create their own shot. The, the Raptors can't score, but they got James Harden. So that don't make no sense, but okay. But And then the, the, um, uh, the Hawks, they can't hit three-pointers. They can't play defense. And they ain't athletic. Yet yeah, they got 60 wins. So, you know, I, I just don't get it. They can do that. It's all mid-range from that team. And even the Cavaliers' strengths aren't really that high strength. So, it's going to be a tough matchup for Cleveland. But I'm about to trip you guys out because guess who won the matchup in the regular season? Cavaliers beat the Hawks two out of, one, three, two out of three times. So, I mean, the regular season means nothing, but... <laughs> Cavaliers do have that mental advantage because this is the one the one team that best the Hawks. And you know, here's some matchup reports. You can read, you do what you gotta do. And you see, see that right? Last victory. Cavaliers pulled off that win in April 11th. 
projected lineups. We got Dirk. We got Steve Nash. We got Robert. We got Ganis Anirikumbo. Dirk Nowitzki, Yao Ming taking on Mario Chambers. James Harden, Tyrone Higgins, Kevin Love, and Rudy Gobert. See, here's the thing. Isaiah Thomas. I'm talking about Detroit Bad Boys Pistons Isaiah Thomas. He's not in it, man. He's injured right now. So, Steve Nash going to have barbecue chicken with Mario Chalmers. I'm not, Mario Chalmers is a good player, though, so I'm not even going to front. Here's some other stuff, you know. See, this might have been the, the best matchup. Would have been Nash and Isaiah, but now we got to see. I don't really know what the matchup is, like, because their they're best players are so far. Look, they got Tyrone Higgins. They got Kem I guess we got to go. We got to go with this matchup. It. The key matchup is um what what just happened? Why why are we what, what happened? Um The key matchup to really look out for it's gotta be Dirk versus Kevin Love. The two best players at the best at power forward. The two best players at the similar position, I guess I'm trying to say. Uh uh weaknesses for Dirk, he don't play defense. He got no steals, no blocks, and he ain't athletic. What's good for Dirk? Kevin Love ain't athletic. He he barely and he don't play defense. So there ain't no defense being played in this matchup, but they both can shoot very, very well. So that's an intriguing matchup. Kevin Love remains on the Cavs. So some basic breakdowns. Uh, he, I don't know, Dirk's taller. <laughs> uh, yeah, you can see all that good stuff. Some more stuff to look at. Field goals. But yeah, this this interesting matchup. Um, if I. If I remember correctly, the Hawks don't have any injuries. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to find the Hawks. I know it's an alphabetical order, but... Yeah, the Hawks have no injuries. And Cleveland has Isaiah out. So that's the 2-8 to 2-7 matchup. Now we see the 3-6 uh, matchup where we have... The 52 and 30 New York Knicks taking on the 45 and 37 Orlando Ma Magic. That's my mother's New York Knicks taking on Tyreek's Orlando Magic. Funny thing is, those two played each other in the game of the week, in which I don't remember what week it was, obviously. Which the Knicks won, and the Knicks did take the series two games to one in the regular season. And check this out the team breakups. Um, br breakups, what? Breakdown. Player, team comparisons. I don't know what I'm saying. We see the strengths. The Knicks got a lot of them. They're all max, mid-range, three-point playmaking. They can score. They 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 can score the ball. And low post defense. They they got it. The Magic's they got a lot of we um strengths. A little little less on athleticism, but they can't. They don't got shot making. This is bad. They can't play make, and they can't create any more shots. So I don't know how they scoring. So yeah, this gonna be that might be a tough tough for them. So we look at this other stuff. Knicks won the last matchup. And yeah. This is the projected lineup. We got, you know, Nemo Bobby, Rick Gidier. We got Kobe Bryant, Carmelo Anthony, Rudy Gay, Tim Duncan. And they taking on Jordan Clarkson, Bradley Bill, Kawhi Leonard, Lamarcus Aldridge, and DeAndre Jordan. So that front line on Orlando is crazy. But that backcourt on the Knicks is crazy. So it's funny. Those are the stats, rankings. The Knicks are actually third in scoring, while Orlando is 27th in scoring. So, like I say, they struggle scoring. Check out some more. Blah, 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 blah. Your eyes work. You can see that for yourself. Player comparison. Let's try to see what it would be. Wouldn't it be this. It might be that. No, it wouldn't be that. So, yeah. The, the matchup to really watch is at the three. We got Carmelo Anthony taking on Kawhi Leonard, a former finals MVP, two-time defense player of the year. But that's real life. This ain't real life. So we see strengths scoring for um, Melo. Weaknesses steals. Uh, Kawhi's great, but he's not making those shots for nobody but himself. You feel me? He can't play make, but he can play defense. So we'll see what happens. It's a weird mix. It's a weird mix right there. One guy is really, really efficient scorer. The other guy is an all right scorer, but really efficient defender. Some more breakdowns. Everything's virtually identical, except for age, obviously. Years pro and 
Uh, everything else is pretty close. Here's some more stuff. Wow. You see them stats? Them rankings? Crazy. Uh, attribute skills and shot charts. So yeah, this is gonna be it's gonna be a fun matchup to watch. I'm taking the Knicks in six. I think in six. I don't think it's gonna go all the way to seven. I think the Knicks will pull it out in six. I don't think it's gonna be a quick five. It's that's not gonna be a sweep. That's for sure. But um, I'm talking through the the menu for some reason. I don't know why. But um, check out injuries. Magics. They're good to go. No one's hurt on the Magic. So, but the Knicks have two injuries. They have Nikolai Pekovic and Jeremy Lin. Jeremy Lin should be back tip-tap shapes very soon. So, we'll see what happens. But like I said, like his number, Knicks in six. And that is your three, six matchup. Now, this is the matchup to watch. The four, five matchup between the Chicago Bulls, 50 and 32, taking on Brooklyn Nets, 50 and 32. The number fourth seed, my brother Steve, taking on the number uh, fifth seed, Natalie. They have identical records, man. This is gonna go all the way to seven, and I think, I think Chicago might pull it off. I don't know. I'm thinking Chicago might pull off. I don't know if Derrick Rose. Uh, Derrick Rose probably not even gonna get back, but I, I just, I don't know, man. We'll see, man. It's gonna be tough. This Kyrie Irving probably gonna be barbecue chicken with no Derrick Rose out there, but I don't know. I, I just kind of feel like. The Bulls are just going to upset. Like, one team got to upset. So, you know what I mean? One non-home court got to win. So, it's, it's got to be the Bulls. The Nets did win the series 2-1. So, we'll see, man. And since the B Nets did win the, uh, the series in the regular season, that's why they have home court advantage, I'm pretty sure. But they won the tiebreaker. So, you can see they their weakness for the Nets is three-point scoring, low points, low post offense, which is the same weakness for the, the Bulls. But they have a lot of strengths. Both of them got strengths in steel, so they both can play defense. But the Nets can rebound when the the um the Bulls are more athletic. They can attack the basket, but the Nets got some good IQ, as you can see. Break down the matchup. Close game right there for the Nets won that one. And the contest the the pick, the predicted pick was the Bulls, so they let that one slip. So projected lineups, we have Kyrie Irving, Chris Middleton, Sean Marion, Ed Davis, Ben Wallace, taking on Kemba Walker. See, that's not barbecue chicken, actually. Because oh, that's a really good backup in case anything was to happen to um Derrick Rose, which something did. So Kemba's starting now. Allen Iverson, Julius Irvin, Terrence Ross, uh, Terrence Ross, Terrence Jones, and Nerlens Noel. So yeah, you see, Iverson did a lot for his team. Kyrie does a lot for his team. So it's a really good matchup. And I'm probably going to use those two guys as the matchup, even though they're not playing the same position. But you know, everybody knows Iverson should have been a point guard. So, yeah, let's go break down that player compare. The, this is like the, the, what, I mean, these guys are probably supposed to play on each other. I mean, that's going to be rough. For all, oh, look at the height matchup. Come on, man. Look at the height difference. See, um, Chris Milton got seven inches on, on uh, Iverson, so... I don't know. Uh, Bulls go on the really small lineups, taking Derrick Rose and then taking Iverson and making Iverson your shooting guard instead of your point guard. So you know they take that risk. You know, they take that risk every night. But yeah, we're gonna. Why does it does this, man? It's so stupid the way they had this control. But yeah. Um. But yes. Player matchup. We gotta do it. Iverson taking on Kyrie Irving. They both are. Great at creating the own shot. They both attack the basket. Kyrie got better playmaking probably. But uh, Iverson can steal that Brock and he can shoot all over. They both got good mid range, but Iverson's is better. But Iverson plays better defense than Kyrie because Kyrie ain't got no defensive IQ. So he probably just don't know how to play defense. So now we move on to basic information. Kyrie still got three inches on um on Iverson, so that is what that is, and then you see the matchup. They're both at who? See, look at that. Wow, he's a liability on post defense. <laughs> is um, Kyrie? They really doesn't Kyrie Irving's on defense. You see, he got some bad grades on defense, but he's a scoring machine, bro. He, he, he know how to score the ball. He made it. I think Kyrie actually scored the most points of any guy this season. In terms of one game, yes, Kyrie dropped 54 on February 21st. I don't know who they played, but he dropped 54 on them. 
Bulls, Derrick Rose is out, and the Nets. The Nets are good. Nobody's out. So, yeah, that's your 4-5 matchup. And that's your breakdown for these. Please like, share, subscribe, and comment who you think is going to win predictions and how many games. Thanks for watching. I'm out. One.